So I've talked about how to sort of do the background work, um, you know, how to, to, to get your story in place, to devise a strategy and write a brief. Um, and you've now been through that experience. I'm going to show you some examples of campaigns that I think have been successful. And they're also good examples of some of the things that I've talked about. Um, you know, when it comes to creative work, the simple ideas work best. As I, I said with my balls analogy, the more simple, the easier it is to create cut through in a crowded space. The best films are conceptual. There can be simple story ideas that are well told. Uh, it's not enough just to put together some film with people talking and interviews or whatever. If you have a strong idea, it makes the film more powerful. Uh, but that's the same with a poster or an online ad. You know, the more simple and the powerful the idea, the harder it's going to work. Uh, it, it will get attention and be memorable. Um, you've got to evaluate the idea against your brief and look at it and say, is this on brief? Is this what we're trying to say? You know, then you know that you have the right idea. But that's again why the brief is important. And then think about how to produce it. You've got considerations like budget, resources, uh, timing. Can you do it within the time space that you need to have it ready by? Uh, and that might affect what channel you use, whether that is just we're going to do an internet campaign or you know, we're going to do one ad um, or we're going to create some leaflets. You've got to be realistic about that before you actually start getting into the creative. Um, so I'll start with what I call our simple ideas. This is a demonstration where I've picked out some films. Some of them are my own personal experience where I can say the idea is a simple one. As I said before, you know it's an idea when you can describe it in an elevator pitch. If one of my creative team come to me and it takes them five minutes to explain the concept, it's a story, it's not a concept. I need to know what is the idea first. Um, the first one I'm going to show you uh, is for Hong Kong Cancer Fund. It's a poster that I was the creative director on before. And the brief here was that we, we had insights, which also can help to come up with ideas. And the brief was to actually tell women that you need to check more regularly for signs of breast cancer. Because in the past, there was a belief that you go for a check maybe twice a year or once a year even. But no, um, the research was showing that actually there are no warning signs in your body that tell you that there's maybe something developing. So the concept came up of alarm system. Your body doesn't come um, with an alarm system. So this was one of the most successful posters ever for Hong Kong Cancer Fund. Uh, it's the most memorable. They've repeated it over the years a number of times. But you can see it's very simple. It's very striking. You cannot miss it. And as a poster, the words are very few uh, because that's how a poster works. People are on the move. They don't have time to actually stop and read it. So you've got to make it easy for people. Another one I was involved in before, which was also for Hong Kong Cancer Fund, was when, um, before they introduced the laws about smoking in um, uh, restaurants, um, the message was, you know, that secondhand smoke can be dangerous to those around you. So are you being considerate? Now we can't, couldn't tell people, stop doing it. Uh, you can't always have that message in your communications. Do this or don't do that. The most we could do in this case was appeal to their sense of humanity and consideration for others. Are you force feeding people tobacco? And we deliberately created quite disgusting looking images of food. Um, with ash and cigarette smoking because we wanted to get people to notice our message. A brilliant one, this is from the UK, which is telling people don't buy pets for fun. Don't give them as presents at Christmas and then they get neglected and end up as strays or, or whatever, abandoned. They're not toys, it's a life. So this is a brilliant play on a very famous um, brand name, you know, in the, in the toy sector. So I think it's a great example of simplicity uh, and very, very powerful. I'm going to show you a film now, and this is a film that was created for Red Cross, and it's an anti-war message. And in this case, the storyline itself was the idea. It's, a, it's about a little girl who's being driven to hospital uh, because she's been shot. Can she make it? And I would say it's one of the most powerful pieces of film. You're definitely going to be moved by this because the way it's been directed and filmed and acted is 100% believable. Um, we can't always create films like this every day, but it's a great example of powerful simplicity. So here it is. Hey, 
يا قلبي جاي وحياتك جاي هلا بتوصل زاري وين رايحين؟ لوين؟ رايحين لمطرح ما خلقتك عن جد؟ ايه ايه وحياتك رح يشيلوا لك الوجع كله يا قلبي ليا ماشي الحال؟ عنها كثير تعبان بعرف يا قلبي والله بعرف يا حبيبي يلا وصلنا لا لا قلبي قلبي ما تنامي ما تنامي فتحي عينيك فتحي عينيك طلعي فيه طلعي فيه ريا من غني غنيه يلا عندي بيسي عندي بيسي اسمها سيسي لا يا حبيبي لا لا ما تنامي ما تنامي يا قلبي وصلنا ليك وصلنا لا يا حبيبي هيك ما كل شيء يا قلبي هيك ما في شيء The next message is for Save the Children and um, you know this is actually a message that's been over the years um, always kind of repeated whether through music, whether through films, um, but it's a very very strong powerful consistent message which the children are the future. We need to look on, they are our future, they're the future of this planet. So that's why it's so important that we work harder to protect children and, and, and help them grow up in a safe world uh, today. So I'll show you the film. Look at me. Go on, look at me. Don't be shy. What do you say? Maybe I'm a refugee. Or a child bride, forced into marriage. A child soldier, forced to fight. Maybe I'm a story on the news, to turn off and forget about. I'm just a child. I want to play with my friends, to run, to laugh. I want to learn. I want to grow. I want my voice to be heard. I want my life to count. I am the future. And I'm worth fighting for. I'm now coming to a, um, a film that I was involved in. This is for UNICEF in Hong Kong. And they came to us and the message for this year, uh, globally for UNICEF, was right to play. That children everywhere have the right to play. And but however, in lots of countries, they don't get the freedom to play for different reasons. Some countries that might be due to war, might be due to sort of poverty, um, disruption, or even sort of family problems. Children don't always get the right and the freedom to be children. In Hong Kong, it was a different story because, you know, not that many children here are sort of uh, inhibited by those reasons. Um, but in Hong Kong, well, you know, parents can be quite eager about homework and education. And sometimes children just don't get the chance to be children because they're too busy studying. So this is the message that we did.
Another one for UNICEF uh, that we did in Hong Kong was to support breastfeeding. Now here, we're not, this is not a message to mothers to breastfeed. It's a message to the, the general public to be more considerate to mothers who need to breastfeed in public spaces. And what we found through the sort of research given to us was that people can be a little bit kind of um, not so supportive when they see this. You know, it might be a restaurant where you complain. Um, they sort of feel uncomfortable, you know, with, with that sort of going on. But the simple fact was some mothers just want to do her best for her child. And if we can just be a bit more considerate, we can, you know, uh, just uh, tolerate what's going on and understand it from their perspective. So in this case, as I said, we can't tell people, you know, you must support breastfeeding. All we can do is appeal to their sense of humanity and consideration for others. At UNICEF, we believe that breastfeeding mothers should not be forced to hide. Please make them feel welcome in public and at work. Please pledge your support. Say yes to breastfeeding. And I'm coming to one more case study from, uh, from my company, which is for Youth Outreach um, Hong Kong. And we've been supporting them over the years. We very much believe in the work they do, helping get young kids off the street and try to give them a future. And what we knew from sort of the insights were that young people feel abandoned, even children as young as eight years old out on the street at 12 o'clock at night. And I actually went out on the uh, outreaches with them at night, in the middle of the night, to see some of the work that they're, um, they, they were doing. And it's very challenging. And some of the things we saw were amazing with young kids. Why? Because they either get involved, they've got broken families, not, things are not right at home. Some of them get involved with gangs, drugs, this kind of thing. Youth Outreach does their best to get to the bottom of the story, get the kids in talking, and find a way to help give them a future. Sometimes the kids feel like they've been discarded, like they're rubbish in society, didn't do well at school, and that's how they sort of feel. So we wanted to, to create a film that was gonna help um, youth outreach go to corporations and appeal for support. And what we said was, every youth deserves a chance. Help us to help those at risk of being forgotten. So this is the film we created. It was a very, very simple analogy to help get that message across. And I have one more. You can see that we actually do quite a lot of work helping charities and organizations, but we like to. Um, this is a project for Caritas in Hong Kong. It was a joint venture with uh, Caritas, uh, Hong Kong University and Jockey Club. And they were creating a portal to help young people at risk in Hong Kong uh, from uh, suicide. And what they wanted to do was to give them a channel they can go to, to talk and, and to seek help. Uh, we were targeting young people through mobile, which is the channel where you, you reach them nowadays. So going down sort of the path of asking them to phone is not what it's about anymore. But we wanted to create empathy with the message to invite young people because young people are very suspicious of these kind of messages. They see a lot of government campaigns that are targeting them, but don't really seem to be appealing to their sense of voice. The insight we had was that young people that are under stress and under pressure keep it inside. So we saw comments in the research like, well, we didn't think there was anything wrong. You know, she seemed quite normal, you know, quite happy until it's too late. So we appealed to that. What we were saying was, don't keep your problems inside, open up. 
and we created the name Open Up, the logo Open Up, and the whole program became Open Up. That was the message. And this is one of the films we created to target young people and let them know we know how you feel. Yo 我不想说,我不想听。我可以怎么做好?与其up在心,不如open up。我们全天后24小时愿意听你的心声。拎起电话,message我们啦。I've shown some examples now of how simple ideas can create compelling sort of campaigns. Um, now I'm going to talk about a slightly different way to approach it, which is to create the story uh, either through an event or through activities. And then that in itself creates the film. So what you do is you film your activities and I'm going to show you a couple of case studies where the film itself becomes something very watchable and influential but it was based around something that happened. So that could be an event, or it could be just the way that you work, you know, in terms of showing the work that you do. But you can create a film that way. It doesn't have to be a concept-driven film. The film of the event can also become a powerful film. Engagement is about how do we continue a dialogue. We need to know the target audience. Who are we talking to? Engagement is the key to success. If you can really engage them, uh, make them understand what you're trying to say, and make them take action. Engaging means a heart-to-heart -heart connection, if you can do that with someone. Engage is the most important thing to attract them and make them feel valuable. 在整個過程當中,好像由頭去學,有一個真的有故事和話給我們聽,提我們,以哪些要留意,哪些東西要突出,其實會幫到我們去怎樣去整合和可以真的突出我們想講的東西。Credible to be engaged in such meaningful workshops because not only I personally learned a lot, but also feel so inspired by all the NGOs contributing to our community and all the great work they do, I feel really compelled that I could do more. I believe together we can make things better and greater. And so great today to be engaged, to make Hong Kong a better place with the NGOs. To engage is really to capture both people's minds and their hearts with a story that immediately connects to the values of the people that they want to connect to. In the modern day communications is currency because you can measure exactly how effective every piece of communications is in a digital environment. So, I've given you some case studies now that sort of uh, show a demonstration of what I've been talking about. Let me just summarize some of the key points that I've um, been through in the hope that this is going to help you with your planning. Start with your story, write down your narrative in terms of who you are, what you are, and why you're doing what you're doing. It's a great thing to have in your mind and have that set in concrete at the beginning. Consider your objectives. What do you want to achieve? You've got to be realistic about this. You know, if you're going to put something out there, um, what do you think is believable that you can hope to achieve with it? 
If everyone just sees that you exist, fine. But if you're looking to actually get involvement or donations, maybe you've got to work a bit harder with that. Decide on your strategy, okay? What method are you going to use? What channels are you going to use? How are you going to go about delivering your message? Very important up front. And then write a clear brief. And you, if you go through the briefing template, um, it helps you define who you're talking to, what you want them to, th what are they thinking? What do you want them to think? What are you going to say to them? It's got to be realistic. It's the argument. It's like why they should, they, they should help you or believe in you. And then find and work with a good creative partner. You know, you can come up with ideas yourself. That's fine. Uh, but someone with experience might be able to help steer you in the right direction because they've been through that process of what it takes to come up with ideas. Be collaborative, get them involved. Tell a good story or create one. You know, you might already have a good story, a powerful story. Um, one of the charities that I responded to directly the most in the past and why I got involved with them was youth outreach because all they did was tell their stories of the children that they've helped. And it was so believable that it was so emotional and compelling that I felt I wanted to donate. If not, create a story that reflects the work that you do. As I've shown with one or two of these examples here, you can make it powerful. And most of all, be creative. Thank you.